the 15th of February, 1943. Squadrons 331 and 332, North Wheeled Wing RAF, continue preparations for the D-Day landings yet to come. Circus, or the daytime high altitude escorting of fast bombers to short range targets, purposefully draws the Luftwaffe into the air and provides the opportunity with the upper hand to diminish the enemy's aerial threat in a deadly game of life and death. This is the story of one such participant, Leif Lundstam. The afternoon's objective followed a quick lunch and a briefing in the station's intelligence office in connection with circus number 267. Led by Kai Berkstead at 5 minutes past 3, 331 Squadron left North Weald for the second time that day. Their task for this second sortie was to link up and provide rear support for 12 Liberator bombers. On the outward leg, 331 flew as top cover to 332. By the time they reached the French coast, five Fokker Wolf 190s were spotted flying line abreast at 20,000 feet. Wing Commander Jameson led a section from 332 Squadron towards them. John Bernard Gilhus from 332 Squadron claimed to have shot one down, Jameson another. As soon as this first batch had been dispatched, a second group of 190s appeared and Jameson engaged them with his section from 332 for a second time. Jameson claimed a second destroyed. Marius Ericsson also claimed one shot down. Meanwhile, Leif Lundsten and the three sections of 331 Squadron were busy escorting the Liberators on their return leg to England following a successful raid on their objective, the harbour at Dunkirk. Over the channel, five Fokkerwolf 190s were spotted diving towards France. 331 decided the bombers were almost back at Manston at that point and headed after the Germans. Turning 180 degrees, Blue Section, led by Leif Lundsten, took chase and dived down after them. Yellow Section joined in. Red Section stayed high and acted as top cover. Here follows the combat report in Lundsten's own words. I was flying as Blue One and went about 20 miles southeast of North Foreland 
escorting the bombers back home, I saw five Focke Wolf 190s driving back towards France. At 15,000 feet, I made a sharp turn to the left and started to fire. I gave one short burst at long range. Then I saw my number three and four passing above and to the left. I was on the point of breaking off, being unable to get nearer, when a Focke Wolf 190 pulled up a hundred yards in front of me, trying to attack my number three. I gave the enemy aircraft a few seconds burst. He's smoking. It's going down. And it went over on its back, diving steeply. I followed him down and saw it go straight into the sea. As I pulled up, I saw another splash about a thousand yards in front, which I think must be the one claimed by number three. Ammunition, cannon, Captain Lundstedt. In his logbook, he recounted, I got one.